What is going on guys, it's Hanbrom here and welcome back to the Minecraft tutorial and in this Minecraft tutorial we're gonna take a look at how to make your own custom items using block launcher and mod PE. So in the previous video we learned about basic syntax and simple simple variable types and in this video we're gonna take a look at how do you actually create custom item, set a texture to use custom textures, set its category, set so that it appears on the creative inventory and simple function hooking as you can see I have hooking the use item hook which if I touch somewhere on the word it will spawn me coin and let's get to the tutorial right Okay guys, so now we're in the drawing to it, and if you haven't made it, you just need to make an empty file, click new there, and now I'm going to save this file as in my local system, and I'm just gonna put it somewhere here, and just call it um, custom item dot js. It's important that you put dot js in the end because that means it's a javascript file so block launcher can read it draw it can read it and everything will be fine okay so first thing we'll do is define our items information so we're gonna kept it somewhere safe but we'll simply just put it like item id i'm gonna put 201s and you can put in an item name just to make this simpler and we're gonna call this item as the same as in my demonstration we're gonna call this coin and we're gonna go down again and now we're gonna define the item so we're gonna call a function that is on mod pe module so you're gonna call it like here like this mod pe dot set item okay so we got few arguments here and the first arguments you want to know is the ID and the texture name texture data the name and the max stack so we're gonna put in our item ID in our id argument and i'm gonna call the name here and we'll put the max tag to 99 and you can see here that the text data and the texture name we haven't put it yet what we will do for now is just put something that's already in the game so i'm gonna call in blaze rod and texture data will be zero and now the item is already in the game but we don't know how to get this item yet so to do that we're gonna hook a function let's call this function use item which is one of built-in functions from block launcher and then you can put the argument is x y z item block site yeah, this is the basic argument and I can just go around and just add item inventory I'm gonna go with the mod p script dump because this is where almost every function in block launcher you can find I mean it's come from block launcher and how does it not filled with this so the first argument in this function is going to be the item id so we're gonna put in our item id you can put in the amount so i'm gonna put one and the damage value our item is at damage zero so we're gonna do that and i'm gonna hit save but before we actually import into the function we want to set its category so we're gonna item dot set category So here we're gonna go back to dump and we're gonna go find the item categories. 
so it is around here i'm gonna find it and i'll get to you there we go and in this categories is all the possible categories you can put and i'm gonna put the internal because internal doesn't show any text so if you put food the below it will be saying food decoration will say decoration material material tools but internal doesn't show anything so it's just the item name and i'm gonna put it in our current mod here item category dot internal and we can hit save so now i'm gonna go to block launcher and import this mod and i forgot um some mistype here and this is it got two arguments so the first argument will put the item id now we know which item to set category to so it's our item which is 2001 so save this and import to block launcher so okay guys now we are in the words and we can check our function that is being hooked by tapping around and as you can see here we got the item and if i open my inventory it will be called coin however the texture isn't the same so how do we get a custom texture in block launcher so let's do it in the tutorial right now so guys now i am in the file manager it is called oi file manager you can use your built-in file manager if it can create zip files so you need to have to create zip files for your mod um i'm going to go to my folder right now here and i can create new folder for my mod so we're gonna call this tutorial it doesn't matter what you name this one but what is inside is has to be identical the case so if it is capital like this it does have to capital if it's not it has to be not capital so i'm gonna create a folder called images with s and no capitals and i want to create a new folder we're gonna call this items stripe opq so this is drive on items opq you have to copy the exact name of this otherwise it won't work so here is where all your custom item will be placed so i'm gonna copy mine and we'll see you then so now the item is in there it is called coin.png if your item um resource names is like this so you have to rename it if it's coin it will put coin underscore zero so it has to be have underscore and numbers this is, will be the texture data that you're putting in your script and this will be the texture name so i'm gonna click ok now it is renamed i can go ahead into the tutorial folder and i'm gonna create zip out of the image folder so i'm gonna call this images um for tutorial and it will be creating it so here's my zip file and uh, somehow it changes name but oh, it's okay as long as the content is still the same we can import this to block launcher so we're going to draw the first to change our texture names okay so now we enjoyed it and we're gonna change the texture data here which is called blaze rod i'm gonna call this coin and texture data will be still zero so i'm gonna click save and re-import and restart block launcher after so guys we're now in the block launcher and as you can see my texture has been imported this is coin and if you got some error make sure you check to import the texture first after that you import the script and that's how it basically works it execute the script and if you got other errors and questions you would like to ask just put it down in the comment section i will definitely answer that and you have other if you have other questions you might want to put it as well in the comment section so i can review it or just look at it whatever you guys want so i got so much other contents if you want to subscribe 
you will see our contents upcoming videos and don't forget to turn on notification because you will be reminded of my new contents and i'm still doing this morning tutorial for a long time i'm gonna do about a few hundred i believe but it's up to you guys like it or not like as well so i'll see you guys next time